Hi, this is Martin, and I'm going to take you for a quick trip around the ICANSoft window. First thing we need to be is connected to the network, and down in the bottom right hand corner, we should have a green circle indicating that we are connected to the network. If it's red, we're not. Okay, starting over in the top left corner, we've got uh, our file controls. New, open, save, save as, forget about this one here, uh, exit. This is all fairly straightforward. New database, open the existing database, save uh, the database you're working on, save the database you're working on with a different name. Exit closes the program and then down here the four last files you were actually working on. Note the extension of IPD. This is how the databases are, will appear in your files if you can see the extension. We sometimes refer to them as IPD files. That's where the name IPD comes from. We've also got some file controls here. Open a file. Save a file. Okay, edit. Don't use it. View. This just allows us to actually turn certain uh, windows of the screen on and off. Okay. By default it will come like this. We don't normally turn them on and off. It's seldom do we need to actually turn windows off. The one which we might turn off very occasionally is this one here by using this button. And the window at the bottom which allows us to actually see the network traffic we can turn on and off here. Now normally this comes when you first open ICANSoft very small. I normally have it about a third of the way up the, up the screen. And it will now remain at this level. You can turn it off by this little button here. And you can toggle it on and off here. So carrying along here project don't use this button. Okay, tools, only a few on here that you're likely to need to use. Okay. Network search, you can have a do a network search from uh, this window here. There are other ways of turning this on. I never use the network search selection from there. I use this one. Next one along, oh, let's go to a few more in here options. You might want to actually change the way you're connecting to the network. Normally you're connecting with a PC node. If you want to connect using an Ethernet gateway then you change this button here. If you're connecting with a PC node and you can't get connection then maybe check this. You're looking for your PC node to be set up as per this with the use Cooper Controls USB converter if if present, that says. Let's move this over. If present. Okay. If you don't get that up, or you need to actually look at how it's actually set up, then you can start Device Manager. Now, sometimes you can start Device Manager. It depends on how your Windows is set up. Uh, other devices, it might have in here Cooper Controls USB Converter. Uh, if it has, or if it's down here again with this mark on, then you might need to install the driver. Uh, the driver, I've already got mine installed. If you right hand mouse update driver, do browse my computer, it will be found at this location. You might, if you haven't got a 64 bit machine, then it might be just program files, Cooper Controls, ICANSoft, USB. You don't need to drill down into this file to find the dr particular driver, it will automatically search it out for, it, for you. So just go to USB drivers in this location. Okay, don't need to do anything else there. Close out of here. Next one you might want to go to is advanced. Single dialogue mode will automatically be selected. You might want to change this one. Turn this one on, always change output name on channel change. Again, to be explained later. And I like to turn off the, uh, the tool tips. Um, I find them a bit annoying. Okay. Uh, next one we've already covered. 
turn this one on off scene editor this is where we'll set up scenes for the different areas we've created monitor mm, very seldom do I use this I usually watch the messages down in this window here wizard I don't use it network search turned on and off by this window here it's not a it's not a toggle this allows us to operate the flash tool which allows us to actually update the firmware in devices again be covered by another video plug-in tool used with some other of the products uh, this button here allows us to uh, save a trace if we've got a particular problem um, again seldom used and this is the device editor and again you'll be instructed if you need to actually use that so I'm just going to quickly open a few devices just so you can see how it actually loads things into the database okay so here we go we're going to search our network I've picked out the three devices I'm actually going to load so I'm just going to do read devices and you'll see down here that it's already loading in the devices off of my network little icons on here indicate the what's being read at any particular time you also get a list of uh, you know an idea of the messages as a single line down here and the speed at which it's being read this is actually going to cause the virtual information to be uh, brought into the database as well so if we now look in here we can see that we've got in here two virtual areas area 1 and area 8 there must be something loaded into these devices uh, which is in both of these areas we might have to wait for all of it to load but uh, certainly we've actually got 24 channels I can turn this off 24 channels of information uh, of from the uh, DMX controller that I've loaded in the four scenes in area 1 come from one of our control panels and we've also got some scenes in uh, area 8 and again one of the control panels has probably actually got this in or programmed into something on itself okay I think that's enough